Concrete 5. To log in, there's usually a little edit button or admin link. Click on dashboard. Let's go ahead and click on site-wide settings. Here you can modify the name of your site, whether or not to display breadcrumbs, enable pretty URLs, which will allow search engines to easily spider your website. You may also choose to upload a bookmark or favorite icon insert a tracking code such as Google Analytics, and select what type of rich text editor you wish to use. Let's go ahead and return to the website. Now on the default page, your page will obviously look a lot different once it's developed, but we're gonna go ahead and show you how to easily modify and update your website. So if we wanna add additional pages to our website, go ahead and click on the add page icon in the top left. This will then prompt us for the page type. Depending on how your site is built, you will choose one of the three options. For this example, we will choose full width. Next, we insert the name of the new page we wish to create. You can see that the alias is automatically being generated with no spaces. This is for your pretty URLs. You can choose to assign a description to the page, a meta title, meta description, and meta keywords. If this is a primary navigation page, you will want to keep this in the navigation. But if you are creating a secondary page, which will only be accessed via a special link, you can exclude this page from the nav being auto-generated. Click Add when complete. Now you will see areas on the page where you can roll over and highlight to modify and add content. Your site may vary on the amount of areas that you can customize. For this example, we are going to create something in Add to Main. So click on the Add to Main button, and let's add a block. Now typically you can add a content block to bring up a what you see is what you get HTML text editor within your web browser. Let's go ahead and show you that now. Now with this editor, you have the option to add links, bold text, italicize, underline, modify whether or not it's left, center, or right justified, or you can also do an even justification if you have a lot of text. You can add break lines, change the formatting of the text, or the font size, the font color, the font background color, put items of your content in a bullet or numbered bullet system, increase or decrease the indentation of your wording. It also has a built-in undo and redo system. You can assign links. When you are inserting links, make sure to use the full URL. The target is basically if you want the link to open in a new window or in the same window. For new window, it would be the second option. And if you want the link to have a title, and if you have a special class, we'll talk about that later, go ahead and click update, and you will see we've created a link here. You also have the option of anchors, which allow you to basically create a link that links to a specific part on the page. So say I wanted to make this an anchor, I would highlight it, select on the anchor, choose an anchor name, update. So now I've created my anchor and then I can change this link to link directly to that anchor by using pound and then the anchor name. So now when a user clicks on this link, it'll take them right to this spot on the page and automatically scroll that page down to that spot on the page. I can also insert images. Images must be uploaded via FTP, and then you would insert the image URL here, or you would use the image content uploader that we will talk about in a little while. The brush cleans up any white space or bad code. You can also choose to view your document that you've created in raw HTML to make any fine tune adjustments. And there's a built-in spell checker. You 
can click add when complete and it'll add that content part to your website. At any time, you can go ahead and mouse over that area, click on it, select edit, and then modify and you're right back where you left off. When we're done making our changes, we can go up to the top left and select edit exit mode. If we like everything that we've seen, we can publish our edits or preview based on our settings. Now, all the changes I've made on my site are now live. So I've created a new page and added some content. Now let's talk a little bit more about the dashboard. Dashboard has all kinds of fun stuff for you. Under the site map, is basically where we list all of the pages that are included on your website. And you will see there that my new page has been added. And from here, we left click and then we can visit the page, view the page properties, set the permissions if we have memberships enabled, change the design style, whether it was a full frame, a frame on the left or right, view different versions that we have created and saved, or delete the page. We can also add additional pages or add external links from this area. Under folder view, we can see all the pages in a different view. If we have multiple pages, we can search our pages using the built-in page search. And we can select our sitemap permissions, whether guests have permission to view the sitemap or only register